Welcome back to Cyclones Insider for the second episode of the season. We're here recapping the 2017 inaugural week of the Brooklyn Cyclone season. My name is Josh Sperber, joined right here by my colleague Stu Johnson, who you can hear broadcasting all Cyclones games on the Brooklyn Cyclones radio network. Stu, it hasn't been the start to the season that we've hoped for for the Cyclones. They've went two and four. They won both games on the road, have yet to win here at home. But um, there's been some positives and some negatives, as there always are for the start of the season. But what have been your main areas of concern so far with the Cyclones? And they've struggled a little bit with situational hitting, just three for 21 with runners in scoring position in the first couple games of this series against Hudson Valley. And then in Vermont, some shoddy defense. They had six errors in one game. Pitching hasn't been quite as good as it's been the last couple of years. And they're near the bottom of the league in ERA, although we're only a week into the season. So... All in all, they've got a few things to brush up on, but we're very early on, and they've got one more game here against Hudson Valley tonight, and then we've got three against Aberdeen, so some divisional opponents and a chance to make up some ground. Yeah, the Cyclones definitely have struggled pitching the ball in this young season. They are 11th in the New York Penn League with a 4.92 team ERA. They've also struggled at the bat. They've only had one home run hit by Jose Maria in the second game against Vermont. But with all of these these games that have already been played, it is a very, very compact short season. What are some games that have stood out for you so far? Well, anytime you can commit a franchise record for errors in a game and actually win it, that's sort of unusual. And the Cyclones had six errors in a game in Vermont. Still got our, Eduardo Alfonso's first win as Cyclones manager. So that was a little bit bizarre. And what was cool about it was that the pitchers did a really nice job picking up the defenders. They pitched with men on base. They should have been out of a lot of innings that they weren't because of some mistakes behind them in the field, but they didn't let it affect them. Did a nice job pitching through some traffic. Uh, and, and in that series, really good start for Trent Johnson, too. A big, tall right-hander, a lot of tail on his fastball. He had a really good outing, so that's something to be encouraged about moving forward as well. We will be talking to Trent Johnson as well later on the day, but one of the bright spots so far this season has been Jose Miguel Medina. And the right fielder for the Cyclones has reached base safely in every game except for the home opener. Is hitting 369 hits in its 25 at bats so far. I had the chance to talk to him in Spanish earlier today. Let's see what he said. Jose ha jugado para siete equipos diferentes durante su carrera profesional. Sientes algo diferente jugando en los niveles diferentes de las ligas menores? No, no. Por mí todo lo mismo. El béisbol es lo mismo en todo sino que mientras, mientras más tú vas subiendo, el picheo se pone diferente, pero para mí es todo lo mismo, béisbol, you know? Sí, sí. Uh, y este, la República Dominicana, un país que tiene una gran historia de jugadores profesionales en uh, béisbol, um, ¿cómo se influye cuando tú eres jugando béisbol? No, por mí eh, eh, me siento orgulloso por representar a mi República, tú sabes, muchos peloteros buenos de allá, Y yo creo que puedo seguir jugando y, y seguir adelante para pa ser uno igual que ellos. ¿sabes? Y esta semana fue el líder de su equipo en casi todas las categorías imparables. Uh, ¿Cómo eso motiva entrando la segunda semana en uh, la estación de los Cyclones? Por mí es bueno, tú sabes, juego siempre para mi equipo, ayudo a mi teammate, you know. Eh, es bueno jugar siempre fuerte y, y las cosas buenas van a, ven, van a venir con Dios siempre adelante, tú sabes. Y siempre jugar juego duro y apoyando a mis jugadores, a, a mi equipo siempre. Unfortunately, Medina did not continue his hot hitting tonight as the Cyclones fell 8-3 to three to the Hudson Valley Renegades and got swept in their first homestand of the 2017 season. The Renegades broke it open in the eighth inning, scoring six runs, and even Franklin Correa, the second baseman, took to the mound, hitting three batters en route to a run. It was a very sloppy game, Stu. The Cyclones committed five of the game's seven errors, but for the second straight game, they had a small rally in the ninth inning, scoring two of their three. But two of those runs in the game were on ground out. So it's, it's very hard to find a bright spot in that one. But, Stu, what are your thoughts on tonight? Well, it's going to be hard to win games when you commit five errors. They did that again today. They had a six-error game last week in Vermont. So the defense really has to get cleaned up. And it's not just one thing. It's fielding. It's throwing. A lot of these errors have been throwing errors. They've made them in the infield. They've made them in the outfield. And they had some base running mistakes tonight as well. And then the pitching has uh, been up and down. Got a good start today from Jose Carlos Medina. 
Caden Aldridge struggled out of the bullpen. You eventually had to go to a position player, Franklin Correa, to pitch. Uh, he obviously was not in a familiar or comfortable setting. And so at the moment, the team is really uh, looking up at the Renegades and at the Staten Island Yankees in the division. And more disconcertingly, they're just not playing very good baseball. And so they're going to have to get that corrected. Just one for 13 today with runners in scoring position. They had only four hits in the entire series with runners in scoring position and 34 at bats. So despite getting lots of chances because of Hudson Valley walks, really couldn't make it hurt with some timely hitting. Certainly there are a lot of things for the Cyclones to work on. Hopefully one of them won't be pitching in the upcoming series against Aberdeen, where Trent Johnson will start that series and taking the hill. He won one game against Vermont, letting up four hits and one run in five innings of work, striking out four and walking just one batter. Earlier today he walked onto the field and I had an interview with him. Let's see what he said. Trent, uh, some players get assigned to other minor league teams after they play rookie ball. Being one of the players who had an extra couple months off before this season started here in Brooklyn, how did you prepare for the season with, uh, with the extra time off? Well, uh, with uh, about two months of extra work, I really worked on like uh, things mechanically, trying to be a lot smoother with my delivery and uh, get a little more velo on the ball. A lot of times, like when I came to to the Mets, I was jumping out towards home plate, but now I'm now I'm gliding out more. Um, so you didn't start at all in Kingsport last year, possibly because you had such a great season uh, starting in at Santa Fe Community College, where you finished as the winningest pitcher of all time there. Now back in the rotation here, you started off pitching four, five innings, letting up just one run. How does that boost your confidence this early in the season? Yeah, it boosts it real well because uh, it's been a while since I've won a game in Kingsport last year. Uh, it's kind of rough, rough on, for me because I went 0-3 and... Uh, kind of like the confidence level kind of went down there but coming out throwing for like first game of the season felt real good to win always good to get a win for the team and uh, your next start's going to be on Wednesday that's six days after your last start how, how does that extra rest in between affect the way you pitch and prepare for games it won't affect it that much I mean I'm ready to go I'm, I'm always ready to throw but it is nice to have a, one more day to, to prepare and get a game plan going. Well, Trent is definitely ready to go, and I know I'm excited to watch this season continue to unfold. Hopefully the Cyclones can rebound from a tough homestand before their next homestand, starting on Saturday, July 1st, against the Detroit Tigers affiliate, Connecticut Tigers. That Sunday, July 2nd, the first 2,000 fans who come to the ballpark will receive a Captain America bobblehead. I know that's not something I want to miss, but you can get your tickets at brooklyncyclones.com or here at the box office at MCU Park. From all of us here on Cyclones Insider, I'm Josh Sperber with Stu Johnson. Tune in next week for more Cyclones interviews with your favorite players and recaps of the season. Thanks for watching, and let's go Cyclones.